yeah, we are online. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, today from Gulf Bangladesh, we have two special guests. One is Mr. Jiti Shak from Thailand. He is the director rules of Asian tour. And then we have also with us director, tournament director rather, Mr. Sampat Chari, uh, veteran of Indian Gulf. He is also with us. So to start, sir, I'll, ask, I'll start with Mr. Jiti uh, of Asian Pro. Uh, Mr. Jiti Shah, can you share us uh, about golf and COVID, what is going on in Thailand uh, due to COVID, how you're manning your golf in Thailand first? Okay. Um, actually, Thailand is also affected by COVID, just like any other country. But actually, in the past month, we, we did well. I think the government did a very, very good job on uh, controlling the disease. So the golf court we have reopened on the 3rd of May. So all the golf court is open. And actually- So it, today, it was closed for COVID and then after one month you have reopened, is it? That's correct. The golf court had been closed for about one month. And then after that it's reopened on the 3rd of May. And, but however, the tournament is still not allowed. It's, it's open for general play only. But uh, actually the situation in Thailand now is today is the first day that the government allowed all the department store to be open. Okay, sir, I'll come back. What's about general condition? I mean, uh, due to COVID-19, you see in uh, all the sectors of, uh, I mean, uh, in our country, all over the world, uh, highly affected the business, the sports, everything is affected. So what's about in Thailand? What is the density of the uh, state of, what is the state of COVID there in Thailand? Um, yeah, talking about the, of course, the business is all affected, uh, just like any other country. But um, I'm gonna concentrate on golf, okay? Actually, when you play golf, uh, the RNA have uh, issued a guideline how to play golf uh, during uh, the COVID-19. Example, like if you have a scorecard, they enter, enter their own score in their own scorecard. You don't need to change the scorecard. And not necessarily for the marker to sign on the player's scorecard. Okay, we'll come, back, we'll come back to the specific rules, the new rules you're talking about, new instructions issued by R&D. We'll come back to that point. Now, let me bring Mr. Sampatchari. Uh, Mr. Sampatchari, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, what's about your Indian golf, PGTI? How are you doing? Uh, is your PGTI shut or is open? Uh, fortunately, it's good that in Thailand things are opening and, you know, at least people are playing uh, club level golf. In India, the situation is very, very bad. And there is no golf course which is open at all. One or two golf courses like the one in Karnataka, which has been approved by the Karnataka Golf Association, might open tomorrow. Uh, but uh, by and large, all the golf courses in the country are still closed. And, you know, the members are just waiting to play. But uh, more than uh, important than anything else is, you know, the health and well-being of people. Uh, we have a lot of uh, people who are just looking after the caddies. The caddies have no livelihood, you know, as to how to get on uh, without playing this game. Uh, there's been no game. Forget uh, about uh, tournaments. There's just been no golf courses available. They're all shut. Everything is shut. And I don't see anything opening up uh, in the immediate future. Uh, things are easing up a little on the COVID front, but uh, the situation is still not uh, uh, conducive really you know for uh, golf to be played at uh, almost any level maybe at the club level with all the new rules that have been uh, coming to play by what uh, Gigi Sak just said they might go into effect uh, if at all they do open up a lot of new rules have come in which of course we will discuss but uh, things as of now are very very bleak and I don't see it uh, opening out uh, uh, straight away. Sir Thank you very much. What's about, uh, if I add, what's about when you are planning? I mean, do you have any planning or any possibility of reopening uh, PGTI uh, golf, I mean, tournaments? Uh, when you can uh, reopen? Do you have any, any practical planning for that? Basically, we don't have any. Uh, see, unless, you know, we are totally controlled by what the government regulations are, 
and the health and welfare of people are the first and foremost in mind uh, before golf. So when it comes to professional golf, it's going to take that much more time uh, to hear about what we can do, what we cannot do. As of now, we have no ideas because we have no inclination as to when the government is going to open up for us. Uh, this week from tomorrow, we, I think we're going to enter into a lockdown four, which means a further lockdown for another two weeks You know, in, in areas that have been uh, uh, contaminated and where the virus is growing and spreading. Uh, so pro professional golf is as yet uh, not on our minds. We are keeping an eye on it, but I don't see anything opening in the immediate future. Okay. Okay. I'll come back to you, sir. Uh, now, uh, once again, I, let me go back to Mr. Jitishak. Uh, can you hear me, Mr. Jitishak? Yes. Yes. Uh, sir, as you've been telling something new instruction, uh, once golf is reopened after this lockdown, as it is closed everywhere in the world, almost uh, like some country of the world, in Europe, in America, in uh, everywhere. So uh, in Bangladesh, once we reopen, you've been telling some new rules, uh, instructions, rather restrictions from RND. Can you now tell me what, what are those new things that we should follow, new rules? Well, um, I think we separate into two separate parts. The first part is about the procedure, okay, not about the rules. Example, like um, if the golf court open, that means everybody when arrived at the golf court must have their body temperature temperature check. Any player who have a body temperature over 35, correction, 37.5 degrees Celsius, do not allow in the golf course. Player guests are not allowed to stay or wait in the golf course. Okay, must have sufficient number of alcohol, gel, sanitizer are to be provided at strategic location. Everybody is required to wear a face mask at all the time at the tournament venue, at the at the golf course. If um, practice range, okay, each day at the practice range must be set up minimum two meter apart. Practice screen, all player and caddy must exercise a physical distancing of two meter apart. Okay, um, <clears throat> bunkers. Um, this is you're talking about the player should stand two meter apart. Why, sir? Is it in, uh, during play or? Yes, two meter minimum. During okay. play, or, or during or the play? Yeah, including during play, okay. yes. Okay, so go ahead, go ahead. And uh, many golf courses um, do not have a rake in the bunker. So subject the player to rake the sand in the bunker with his own foot or his own club. Um, locker room to be closed, except the toilet section, cup house restaurants, cafe. Only take away, take away food is allowed. Sitting or eating in the restaurant is not allowed. Uh, do you have anything about sort of flag stick and uh, benches, yes. immobile of obstructions? Okay, now go to the rule about the rules. Okay, uh, the RNA suggests that the flag stick, of course, um, the club have a local rule to. Make sure everybody leave the flag stick in the hole at all the time. No one allowed to touch the flag stick. Just like I said, bunkers. Uh, what no, about the no removal of stacks of the static in nature in the grounds, like benches where people, uh, golfers tend to sit down together and other uh, fixed, uh, fixed uh, obstructions? What should be done to the, the, those things? Well, right now, um, Sitting in the sitting area in the clubhouse or sitting in the restaurant are not allowed. You only come and, and, and go out and play and, and, and leave. You are not allowed to to take a rest, to take a shower in the clubhouse, something like that. Still still close. Okay, sir. Thank you. So we'll come back again to you. Do you have any points more on rules, sir? I mean, uh, new instructions? Mr. GT. Yes. Um, then go ahead. 
yeah, we um, in in case, of course, the uh, in Thailand the tournament is still not allowed. But however, just in case, when the the rule have been released, so we we already have a um, draft a rule about this example like. Uh, player and caddy must have their body temperature temperature checked at the entrance of the club. Player and caddy oh. are required to wear face masks at all times. Okay, sir. We'll come back to you again. Uh, let me bring again, Mr. Sampatchari. Mr. Sampatchari, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Although there is some. Okay. Trouble. So, what's what's about your PGTI? Uh, I mean. Uh, do you have any such uh, like the recommendations that R&D has given and Mr. GT was mentioning? So do you have any recommendations for club golfing and separate to the professional golfing? Yeah, the moment what I understand is like what uh, GT Sak said, the, the uh, rules that have been uh, formulated and framed have been more for the general golfer of the average club golfer who should come and play golf. Uh, you know, like for example, walking into the club, sanitizing your hands, washing your clubs, checking your body temperature, uh, no flags, no bunker weight. You know, in fact, uh, our uh, Puna club we said that uh, we're going to have a magic ring, and if the ball is in that magic ring, and the ball is hold, like what we normally do. Uh, but somehow, to me, these conditions are good for the normal average club golfer who is desperate to go, you know, and keep have a, a game of golf going. Uh, we are allowing golf carts where only one member can use a golf cart, not more than one. And at any given point of time, there will not be more than 50 people on the golf course. There will be a maximum of 50 people on the golf course, thereby, you know, there's a lot of social distancing also around. And uh, it is the responsibility, of course, of the player and the caddy who walk into the club to give a declaration form that they are absolutely COVID free. And uh, they are healthy and uh, hey, and will not, you know, uh, spread the disease around. But these are all small uh, examples which have been given and which hopefully we will follow and, uh, you know, get them into practice for the average golfer who plays golf on a continuous daily basis. But uh, like I said, you know, controlling, uh, we have different states, different golf courses, and each state has got its own. Uh, government policy which come in and unless the state government clears each golf course and tells them that this is allowed, this is not allowed, this is allowed and then these golfers, you know, it's uh, rules which will be applicable at uh, the IGU level. As far as the professional level is concerned, that's where the professional golf tour comes in. That, like I said some time back, the rules are far away uh, for us to implicate any of these rules in that. First, let the courses open. Let's see how uh, we are able to get the going uh, in the game of uh, professional golf uh, going ahead. And only then we can really think about uh, the uh, rules that will be applicable for them. I really don't see what uh, is going to happen as far as the rules are concerned at the professional level. I, I do understand that uh, the US is opening up with a couple of professional tournaments uh, in the next couple of weeks. And then we will get to know how to uh, take the game forward from there. But I don't see any, you know, uh, seriously uh, think of a situation wherein at the professional level we are going to do away with bunkers, are going to do away with pulling out, are going to do away with the uh, flag sticks. This is okay at uh, the club level, but uh, definitely not at the professional level the way I see it. So, okay, we'll, we'll come back to you, sir. Uh, again, let, let me bring Mr. Jitty Chuck back. Uh, Mr. Jitty, uh, you've been uh, telling about some rules and all. Uh, what about professional golf? You know, uh, country like Bangladesh, we have a real challenge. Like our maximum professional golfers come from very humble background. So for this COVID, in fact, last two months we are locked down. Nothing, no practice, no club golfing, no tournament, nothing. So these humble background professional golfers, they are highly affected. So what, uh, I mean, what we can do for them and what they can do during this lockdown period to keep their fitness uh, alive? Well, um, like I said, um, each country have a uh, different uh, situation. So, of course, all the coffers, um, hope that every coffers 
stay safe. That means everybody should stay at home. But of course, many golfers uh, doing something like practice at home. Like you, you are building the small practice area at home uh, to practice your own uh, game. Of course, uh, that that uh, that thing that a pay, player can do. But the most important thing that um, Every, everybody should stay safe, should stay at home, and follow the guideline from the government. Okay, uh, now come, uh, let me come back to Mr. Sampat Chari. Sampat, Mr. Sampat, uh, we found in your PGTI, uh, in different forms of PGTI, like in website, in social media, PGTI has been uh, uh, promoting golf at home. Miami. In a lot of young players, a lot of your talented golfers, they have been doing some uh, staying at home, keeping the social distance, ensuring the social distance. Can you uh, tell us something specific what our golfers can also do? Well, uh, the best thing is to keep yourself fit, both uh, mentally and uh, physically. And like uh, Didi Sak just said a little while back, a lot of them have got their own little uh, practice facilities done up at home. This is a putting or you know driving balls putting in mats and bed sheets and stuff like that the best uh, uh, facilities available to them they keep doing a lot of physical exercises to keep themselves uh, physically you know uh, fit uh, whenever the tour opens up and apart from that they you know they're also exactly like a total lockdown they're not able to step out from their houses all the physical activity they do is at home a lot of them have their own a little bit of various ways of keeping uh, mentally and physically fit and they are doing that uh, on a day-to-day -day basis if we can just see follow some of them uh, on uh, facebook you can just see kind of uh, tough exercises that they keep doing this is all on the uh, physical front as far as the actual playing is concerned yeah, a lot of them are you know very fortunate that you know they can do a little bit of uh, practice at home whether it's putting or chipping or you know a little bit of driving uh, uh, exercises like uh, uh, a, a net facility which is available for them with the mat, uh, the mats and mattresses and all those uh, little gadgets coming up into play. Apart from that, the actual playing part uh, is far, far away as yet. Like I just said, uh, you know, right in the beginning, golf courses have not opened up at all. Nothing has opened up. And uh, the only way at the moment is, you know, for things to open up once, uh, everybody is absolutely sure that uh, there's going to be no health issue and that uh, we can look forward to getting back into some kind of normalcy uh, in the coming days. But as of now, uh, things are not uh, getting uh, really cured from that point of view. You know, It's good to look forward and hope that things are better. But uh, until that vaccination comes in, till the COVID figures drop. OK, sir. Thank you. We'll come back, sir. Thank you very much. We'll come back to you lastly. Now, let me talk to Mr. Jigti again, and then we'll uh, finish. So, Mr. Jitty, uh, for last time to you, uh, what's, I know you are uh, you cannot talk on behalf of Asian Tour. Still, uh, Asian Tour, so far, our knowledge in your website says the tournaments are closed. So, uh, what, what is the future? I mean, possibility that we can expect it can be reopened. Uh, yes, uh, Asian Tour, as you know, the the tournament uh, in. March, April, and May had been postponed or had been cancelled. So it's based on each country. We are working closely for, with each country. And hopefully that we, we might be able to come back by the end of August or the beginning of September. However, that okay. is depend on the situation and um, the policy of each country. So um, we, we have been working uh, very hard on, on, on that and then hopefully we can come back very soon. Uh, of course, when we come back, it have to come under the guideline of each country that we have to proceed strictly. And um, yeah, back back in, into Thailand also. Um, in Thailand, we also have a local tour, Thailand PGA Tour, that um, very high possibility that the tournament will be able to come back by June, hopefully. Okay, sir. So, last question. Like, uh, in Thailand, do you have uh, 
professional golfers like our one, like we have more than 50%, in, in fact, more than 60% professional golfers are from humble background. So uh, due to this, I mean, uncertain situation, what you are doing with those uh, uh, humble backgrounds professional golfers? Are they given any kind of chance for professional golf? I mean, for club golfing, special chance or their, uh, I mean, incentives are given. What what actions are you are taking for uh, club uh, by the clubs? What they are taking for the professional golfers in Thailand? Uh, yeah, in in, the, in Thailand we have a totally of about three thousand professional men and a couple hundred of uh, ladies. Um, I mean. Many of them were involved in the tournament. We have a totally of 30 tournaments each year in Thailand for, for men and about 10 tournaments for ladies. So all the tournaments have been um, postponed. But just like I said, that we expect that the tournament will able to come back by June. And the good thing is now that all the driving lanes, all the golf course are now open. So is back on business again. So all the pro, all the teaching pro that they can come practice and also do their teaching and to come back almost like a normal one. Okay, sir. So stand by. Sir, Mr. Sampal sir, uh, sir, in India also, we have the, uh, as I have seen in a number of tournament with you in GTI, your professional golfers, uh, they are also really are off for a long time, including European tour players, your American tour, only one lady, talking about only one I was watching some uh, videos of him, only one lady, and then Subankar Sharma, those who play in the European tour, they are also in, back in, in uh, India, and passing the, uh, I mean, ideal time. So this uh, COVID has given a really block, really created a block for professional golf. So especially to those the those players of uh, from a humble background, like in Bangladesh, uh, you have also a number of players from humble background. So what special actions you're taking for them from PGTI? Uh, you see, what's happening is that in a country of our size, you know, the size is so big, and, uh, you know, so many states involved and people, golfers come from all over the place. Uh, it's very unfortunate that, you know, uh, as of now, there's nothing much that we are able to do for them. You know, it's like fending for themselves. And it's only because only in the clubs open out uh, is there some avenue for these golfers to earn their livelihood. People who are in the teaching line, you know, they are totally closed. Everybody is closed. Uh, there's no 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 golf. The word golf is not being uttered by anyone. All that is being uttered right now is just COVID, COVID, and nothing else but uh, COVID. So unless people have some kind of an idea for them to come out and go to the open. Will we be able to really think about something, you know, to get the sponsors back online? To get, we have just played three tournaments this year. Three tournaments is all that we have played this year. We had a lot of uh, tournaments piled up uh, for the balance part of the year. But then that will all again depend on what the state government does and what the government regulations are in terms of opening up uh, the courses and uh, players being able to play once again. Unless we get this uh, go ahead from the government as to when we can do that, only then can we really find out as to when we can open out the golf course uh, for our uh, players and then schedule a tour for them uh, to earn their livelihood once again. Okay, sir, I'll come back for last time to you once again. Uh, last question, sir, sir, I had to come back again to Dittisak. So, Dittisak, final concluding remarks from you. Uh, you know, our professional golfers in Bangladesh, as I said, are highly affected. Like Siddhikur, you know, many names, we have brands, few, very, very few brands. All, all, all are affected due to this COVID. They're just stuck into house, uh, don't have any practice facility. As we talk, talked about, they can do some home golfing, like practicing, keeping their feet, uh, gymming, something like that. But uh, how really, uh, after reopening, they can get their form back? The professional golfers, how they can why about to get their uh, fitness and form back to the game? Mr. Well, for the player now, um, they can do fitness at home. They can do practice at home. They can do chipping at home. So they are professional. They, they have to be ready at any time. So which means that when the golf course is closed in many countries, that means the player have to find their own way to able to uh, 
keep themselves fit and of course keep themselves um, have a good swing that been by practicing at, at home. So um, most most players, I believe, doing that. So the same thing I, I would recommend for the player from Bangladesh to get ready by try to practice uh, at your own driving lens, your own chipping, putting at home. So make yourself ready, getting fit. You can run in, you can fit at home. So be ready. And of course, Asia Tour would like to see everybody stay safe and healthy and ready to come back when, when uh, the Asian Tour announced that the tournament is uh, we coming back. Okay, sir. Thank you for your uh, beautiful, nice words, sir. thoughtful words. Uh, last for last time, sir, with Mr. Sampachari, uh, you talked about your Indian golf, and they correctly said that the government of India, Bangladesh, we have similar situation here. So, what's about your PGK? What do you do? Uh, tell to your, your PGK players because a lot of players from Bangladesh also are uh, registered as PGK players. They qualified, so they had very few tournament this uh, season. So, what advice you leave for them? Your PGK players in Bangladesh. I mean, like uh, TT just said, they're all professionals. Just be fit and hope for the best that you know the golf course is open out as soon as possible and that uh, the professional tour is back on its uh, feet again. But uh, like I said, right now that seems to be a little far away. Maybe hopefully we're looking at things like September or October when we can uh, get our uh, act together once again. All this, of course, depends on again on what the situation is what uh, the flow of uh, the diseases and we just hope that you know in about two months time uh, things will improve and we're able to get our act together and get the sports line going in by that time of course you know we'll have a lot of feedback i'm sure the golf course will be open back uh, to its own club members once that's done the next step would be to you know uh, get back uh, the professional on course uh, unlike uh, the asian tour you know, we have to plan things to get our golf courses back uh, once again. Uh, the courses are not going to be available very, very easily to us, you know, because the course has been closed for members for a long period of time. And uh, it's going to be members first and then the professionals. So uh, my advice uh, to all the professionals in, uh, the, in the PGTR fraternity, uh, be it in uh, India or in your country, in Bangladesh, keep yourself fit, hope for the best, and let's hope we get into action as soon as possible, at least hopefully in September. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, both of you, sir. You are the pioneer and you are the professional of uh, golf. You are the real reason. You both are real legend of professional golf of Asia. Uh, so we we'll thank you very much for connecting us, for joining us. It will help us. It will help our golfers. It will help our professionals and educators to move forward. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. With that words, thank you, sir.